So it just occurred to me that there's something I haven't shown you guys before, and it's pretty cool. I want to show it to you. But first, uh, why is demand so much higher in the spring? Um, and that leads into, you know, the discussion about gas prices, why they're higher in the summer and lower in the winter and summer blends and all that stuff. So there's a couple of things that happen, but uh, this is demand over monthly demand change. And as you can see here, um, you go up here, uh, demand for gasoline rises by about a half a million barrels a day during the spring and summer months. So this right here is July, we're at 9.26. And as you work your way up to December, it drops to eight and a half. January, eight and a half. February, 8.2. And that's interesting because this pattern happens every year. Uh, but gas prices are up this February, even though demand is down. We get a little bump in uh, May and April, and then it rises throughout the summer. You know, people just get out more when they uh, when it's warm outside. People get out more, they buy more products. That means, you know, more trucks, shipping things. Like, nice weather drives demand. But here's the thing I wanted to show you. So the date uh, to switch to summer blend when all gas stations in the United States must absolutely must have summer blend gasoline in them is May the 1st. And in the springtime, they start in the south. So the southern states start getting the summer blend first because it warms up in the south earlier than it does the north. So they move south, they work their way up. Conversely, when they're putting out the winter blend, they start in the north and work their way south. But here's the cool thing I wanted to show you. And keep in mind, summer blends are, are designed to reduce smog and, and help with, you know, fuel evaporation in your tank and all this stuff. We have different levels of blends, right, with different RVPs, RVP being read, read vapor pressure. And we also have RFG, which is reformulated gas. Here's the cool part. So the reformulated gas is the cleanest, uh, creates the, the least amount of smog. So any state that's brown gets reformulated gas in the summertime, right? Mm -hmm or cities, cities. So what do we have here? We have the St. Louis area, we have the Chicago area, and we have pretty much the entire Northeast seaboard all the way from, you know, around Washington DC, all the way up to New Hampshire, because that is such a highly populated area. So that whole area is getting reformulated, the, the cleanest form of gas. And even in Texas right here, which mostly has, you know, RVP of seven or eight with the very light green, you see in the Houston area and the Dallas area, reformulated gas. And that's because those are very high population centers and a lot of smog can be created. And so those highly populated areas, um, you know, or you're in Phoenix, they not quite to RFG, but RVP seven. So yeah, the demand, that's, that's a pretty simple answer. You know, warm temperatures drive demand. Remember that, that's a rule that, that just will always be. But a lot of people didn't know that different areas of the countries get different kinds of gas. A lot of people just thought, you know, California had their own gas. But when you're talking summer and, and winter blends, highly populated areas, they also get a little bit different blend of gasoline to improve that air quality and reduce that smog. Thanks.